Hey everyone, this is Gabby with Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We make weekly wellness videos for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about consciousness and how the different levels of consciousness can affect your life, your happiness, and even your enlightenment. So what is consciousness? Consciousness is the state of being aware and responsive to your surroundings. It's like your awareness and perception in the present moment. So why does how conscious you are matter? It matters because it shows how connected your mind and your body are. Think about this. Your body is the only thing that is in the present moment at all times because your mind is able to travel to the past or the future and go wherever it wants. If your mind and body are too disconnected and if your consciousness isn't in the present moment enough, you can feel scattered, anxious, depressed, and all those kinds of emotions. But when you take time to bring your consciousness to the present moment and connect with your body, you can feel more calm, more relaxed and more at peace. That's why in many yoga, tai chi, and meditation practices, the teachers always tell you to bring your awareness into the present moment so that you could create that bigger connection between your mind and your body. Another interesting thing about consciousness is that there are levels to it. In brain education, we study that your consciousness level or your current state of being directly affects the energy around you, what you attract, how people react to you, and what you experience. So we use a chart like this, created by psychiatrist David R. Hawkins, to study the levels of consciousness and their different frequencies. If you look at the chart, for example, and see that your consciousness level is in fear, apathy, guilt, or shame, you can see that what you experience is in action. If someone is in those levels for a long time, that's when people become depressed, suicidal, negative, and life just doesn't seem to work right for them. If you ever feel those emotions, you can see that they are in the levels of force. And force is something that low human consciousness levels live off of and thrive on. When you go up the levels, you can see that the more higher and positive levels of consciousness come from a place of power, genuine power and strength in living virtuously. When you move up more, you get into desire, anger and pride. These are linked to hyperactivity, which are also not good, especially if they come from a place of overindulgence and having too much pride for yourself and others. If you move up even more into courage, neutrality, willingness, and acceptance, you could see that when you're present in those levels of consciousness, you can have better chance of happiness and productivity. The level of reason is shown to have peak performance without any stress. And then finally, when you move up into love, peace, joy, and enlightenment, those levels show to have extraordinary outcomes for you in your life. So your consciousness level can change by the minute depending on what you're feeling, thinking, and your mood. And it tends to be harder for people to get out of the lower levels and stay for a long time in the upper positive levels. So the key here from this chart is to raise your consciousness level as much as possible through meditation, training, connecting your mind and body, being more in the present moment to create what you want in your life and get positive outcomes. Looking at this chart, what do you think your current level of consciousness is? Your current state of being at the moment. As you're living your daily life, try to take notice of what consciousness level you're mostly living in. Are you mostly in a place of anger, shame, or pride? 
Or are you mostly living in a place of peace, love, and acceptance? I will link three videos below that we created on this channel and they can help you get out of lower consciousness levels like anxiety, depression, and negativity so you can try them out and see how you feel afterwards. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson on consciousness and the different levels of consciousness. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave your comments down below. We check them and we answer every single one. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.